what is up i'm wanted turtle and today we have another paldean fates opening this is a break uh for our patron and friend of the channel fun on a bun and he has two paldean fates etbs so that is was it nine packs now um 18 cracks at pulling something nice i was taking a quick look at tcg player and like kind of surprising i guess kind of not surprising the Charizard is like the most expensive card. I think it says 18 listings from 195. That's really high. And if maybe I'm in the minority here, which I don't mind being in the minority, but like, I don't know, I just feel like that art is nothing special. The background's a little too busy. Um, so you don't get a great view of Charizard himself. He's just kind of like his upper body. Uh, so to be honest, I'm looking for the Mew. I feel like that Mew is super cute, and um, that's the card I would like to pull. Although, yeah, fun and fun. Best of luck. Here we go for your with your first ETB, and then if if anyone's curious after that is the um, Gardevoir EX. Also, think that's a very solid art. Uh, but yeah, I am most hoping for that Mew. Uh, we are going to skip all the comments. So I think the way to do it now is we'll put the code card down and then go like this so we have the energy and so far it seems like all the shinies are in that first reverse slot so we got the rare slots which yeah there's stuff in here but you know i think it's like the ex's and stuff like that and then we have the two reverses hunter into okay we got our first shiny right off the bat a cute little pachirisu and uh so far i've boy where are my there they are so far, I have opened a total of, I think, four, four, four ETBs on channel. I did open, like, one or two off-camera. Uh, nothing too crazy yet. I think off-camera, I did pull a single gold card. Um, I don't know. I feel like the, the Pokemon, not the most exciting uh, choices, but I do like the new style. It's less gold. It's, like, bluish, but... Um, I do like how it's changing it up, if nothing else. So here we go, Annihilate, Chime Cho. So yeah, no home runs yet. We got a, another shiny with a Halucha. All right, um, the Pachi Rusu was cute, just like a like a light, a white, and then a pink. And this Halucha, at least it's very different. Uh, I kind of feel like the colors are kind of random, but I like it. And once again, uh, not that I would think this is worth grading, but. I don't know, I feel like I'm very happy with the card quality. And so with that, I think there are two takeaways. One, that's nice. And two, like, I kind of doubt that the baby shinies are really worth grading. I feel like there will always be people submitting, like, all the new cards to PSA. And then when they come back, I think that they just won't be that rare. Um, so just my own thoughts is I wouldn't grade anything from this set unless it's one of those big chases or if it's a card that you just really want to have graded for more sentimental value. And we did get something in that rare slot, but again, it's just a Clagsire, Clagsire regular EX, but we'll take it, Professor's Research, into a Mass Shift. So our first, actually, I mean, that was still wasn't nothing, but, um, you know, nothing in that prime slot. Uh, so yeah, my, I feel like my opinion hasn't changed on this set. Still a lot of fun to open. Definitely very high hit rates, like we're kind of, batting a thousand in a way they're all like eh. i'm not a big baseball person but they're all singles no uh no home runs or anything like that all right here we go heat rotom i found these rotoms are so strange okay there we go all right it's not the slot that i thought it was okay so the big hits are in the second reverse slot and there it is congratulations fun on a bun boom i hope that's the one you're looking for because yeah that's to me, this is the big hit. I, with very low confidence, nothing to back it up, I think that this card will surpass the Charizard in 12 months. You know, that's just a gut feel. Like, this is so unique. The Charizard is not. Like, I'm looking at uh, off to the side of the screen. I don't know. It just doesn't do it for me. This card is beautiful. Congratulations. Oh, yes. All right. Wait a minute. Uh, shoot, is this centering not? Oh man, I feel, <laughs> I feel like the print quality is really good. And then we pull the card that, in my opinion, is the best card in the set. And I feel like the centering is off. Isn't? I mean, 
such a such a range of emotions right now. Congratulations, huge hit, uh, TCG player, and like the set is officially released at this point. So, um, well, seventeen listings of from one fourteen. Congratulations, that definitely paid for the entire break, and we're still on the first ETB. All right, that felt awesome, and now I'm thinking I need to change up. So it's like, um, that slot is last. This slot is last, and this one's before that. All right. I feel like it doesn't matter what we do at this point. Oh, man. That felt so good. That was our first, like, complete whiff of a pack. Congratulations, man. Feels good. I feel like I know, um, what's the last one? 151. We never got the, the Zapdos you're looking for. Even though we pulled it for another patron. So I'm glad you got the card you look for. Iono Reverse. Uh, there is like a uh, full art Iono that's pretty rare. Uh, in my last video where I opened ETB for myself, I pulled a full art supporter, which the supporter it's for is nothing special, but the art, man, that art is, I think it might be, I don't know, like, I'm just not a huge fan of Iono. I don't remember, I don't remember her at all from the game or anything like that. Um... I do really want the Nimona, but uh, that uh, full art support I pulled last night. Look at this. <laughs> uh, cool. All right, we got a shiny. Houndstone. Very strange undead ghost dog. Oh, look at that Mew. Look at him just chilling there. It's so cute. He's just in a bubble. And uh, I love it. And uh, so something occurred to me the other day. It has to do with Mew. So... I actually don't remember. I think in the game you could eventually get Mew, but you had to like go to an event and then someone like gave it to you or something. And then there were Mews everywhere. Uh, but like in the game, if you didn't do something, so the SSN, oh, I think you had to trade for cut or something. So you didn't need to get it on the SSN, something like that. And uh, the, the result is the boat's still there. Then you can surf and then there's like a truck. And I think like, at least, and this was like before, you know, like social media where everyone knew how to do everything. Uh, it was probably on the internet somewhere, but like, I was just a kid. We didn't look it up and like, we we're like hypothesizing or someone told a rumor that that's how you get Mew is you find, there's like a truck and it's like, oh, how do we move this with strength or something? All right, we got a judge, two full art, or no, first full art supporter, uh, second solid hits. Um, I don't know, I kind of like this. Uh, nothing's special <laughs> but i like it we will take man this this is by far the best etv we've opened so far and we got judge cool uh but anyway back to where i was going like i don't know if i had actually i'm curious if anyone knows i never looked it up after the fact like um like all right what was that truck why was it there but in, in my head, like we, at least while we're playing the game, we, we perceive that, oh, we do the right thing here. We can get Mew. And if that was a thing, like, I feel like that would make a very nice design for a card. Just because like the, the fuller supporter that we pulled last time, this, this Mew um, just has like a very different vibe. And kind of like where I feel like uh, the Pokemon Go set, like complete miss is just like have something that's a clear throwback or a clear reference uh, to the game. And let's just say that that truck thing had something to do with Mew um, just for the sake of this conversation. And then you have a car that's kind of like this kind of cute art style. And there's like a Mew chilling and then like a truck or something and a boat in the background. I feel like that'd be really cool. Uh, yep, yeah, We got another promo. Again, solid promo, by the way. All right, ETB number two, doesn't matter. We already hit the home run. Congrats, fun on a bun. Ah, oh, I felt good. Centering though, Cent like, I, I feel like the centering has been uh, very good until I saw that card. Until I saw the card I wanted to see most. How ironic. S I can never say Cyclozar. Don Fan into a Clive. There, there the strange man is. So yeah, I... I Especially when we're like clearly in this alt art. I mean, that's another thing about the charts. Like it, it's not a, I don't perceive it as like an alt art kind of thing. But um, clearly we're, we are in the alt art era. 
and just to have little things like that throwbacks nods to the game and that's again that's where pokemon go completely failed in my opinion they should have things that are oh yeah i remember this like this is what happened when we played a good example is alolan executor like you shouldn't even see his head you just see his body and his neck's going up into the sky yeah i feel like i'm just like opening packs at this point it's like cool a shiny doesn't matter <laughs> this is a home run home run break all right actually that's not bad i don't remember what it looks like normally because the, the color scheme looks very similar to the guy over here well, i can't remember if uh the, the former stages they show the shiny version i actually don't know off the top of my head Despite having seen a million shiny cards. Alright. I'm not sure how many packs in we are. And uh, yeah, we're just... Doesn't matter what happens. <laughs> There's still We still have so many packs to go through. Um, there we go. A gold card as well. Alright, this is perfect. Because uh, I did mention this. Oh, this centering looks really good. <laughs> like, oh, it's like a tease at this point. Alright, the Chien Pao. I don't know. I, the... the the gold card selections, they're, they're Pokemon I just find kind of strange, to be honest. But you, we got a gold card, and yeah, it has like a blue, but here's like the cool thing. I think from certain angles, you just see like a very glossy finish, and then you kind of shift it, and then you kind of got that textured, um, I don't know, not confetti, but like just like this textured foil um, kind of style. So I really liked it. I like this a fresh take. Uh, they still call it gold card, even though it's like gold and blue. Uh, reminds me of, what was it? I think tag team tag oh not tag team but uh oh there was like a special japanese set that didn't get in the u.s uh that had some like this kind of like this like gold and dark and then they did do some i think like with, with the dogs um yeah it's just a fresh take i like it uh none of the cards seem too crazy in my opinion but um yeah that art style i could uh see that being a thing hopefully not for too long like uh yeah, it's just fresh. Nimona. Nimona is the full art supporter I would like to pull. Uh, yeah, I know. I think Iono is more expensive. But um, actually, the one, <laughs> the one I pulled in the other video, I think, is uh, about the same as Nimona. Although there are two versions of her. All right, we have a hand. I'm not sure how many packs. We do got a ultra rare Esper Espathra. Chime Cho into Paldean Student. I think in one of the ETBs I opened off camera, I think uh, the Paldean student was one of the cards we pulled. And it's just like, <laughs> just a, I think it's just like four students. It's like, all right, I guess. Three packs remaining. Oh my gosh, what an insane opening. Gold card and a Mew. Beautiful. I'm not sure how we're doing hit ratio, but doesn't matter. We accomplished what we were here to do and that's perfect because i was like oh man this is the card to pull um ooh, is that two could you imagine if there's a charizard in one of these last packs <laughs> it's like yeah even if i'm wrong about mew overtaking charizard don't worry here's the charizard as well remember that remember, remember what i just said there we go Uh, but yeah, very happy for fun on a bun. I think uh, <laughs> another supporter. We got Clive. This is the one we pulled last time. Oh, this guy's so he's like the um those those other two weird hair guys from Sword and Sh oh, Those guys are so weird. All right, what a what a opening. Oh my gosh, wait a minute. Okay, so Clive must be like the rare slot. Then you got two reverses. So that means you could pull a full art. And then a shiny and a alt art all in one pack. We got Clive. So yeah, obviously the first box was the best that I've seen or that anyone's seen on this channel so far. And then this one is like just just a lot of good hits. All right, last pack. Fun and bun. Congratulations. And um. Hey, we got more. We got more gas. Uh, yeah, as always, guys, thanks for watching. If you do want to support, just like and subscribe to the channel. 
And um, yeah, huge shout out to all the patrons, fun and a bun. Thank you for letting me do this on your behalf. And congratulations, Rare Candy, into a gimme cool, the weird guy. All right, that's going to be it for me today. Thanks for watching. I'm Wanda Turtle. Catch you all next time. Peace.